We begin tonight with a statewide pause in Nevada. That pause expected to last three weeks. Governor Steve Sisolak saying that this is not a shutdown, but a tightening of restrictions. Now, this includes further limiting capacity at restaurants, bars, gyms, and casinos to 25%. The mask mandate is expanded to include both indoor and outdoor activity. Now that includes private gatherings at home. The cap on public gatherings is also dropping from 250 people to 50 or 25% of the venue capacity, whichever is lower. Now that pause goes into effect at 12.01 a.m. on Tuesday. And 13 Action News reporter Austin Carter is live near Summerlin Parkway and Town Center tonight with how businesses across our valley are reacting. Austin. Yeah, Jackie, and restaurants I spoke with tonight, like Lola's here behind me, say that their busiest days right now during the pandemic are on the weekends. Now, this occupancy restriction that will go into place on Tuesday is a much better outcome than a complete shutdown. That's what a lot of businesses were fearing would happen ahead of the governor's announcement today. That was obviously not the case. And that fear was because so many of these businesses are still recovering from that initial shutdown at the beginning of the pandemic so many months ago. So it's time to act. Governor Steve Sisolak pressing pause with new measurements to battle COVID-19. Top of the list, capacity limits being dropped from 50 to 25%. This including gyms, gaming operations, and restaurants and bars who are already trying to get back on their feet. At 25% is, is like... You might as well shut your door. And to avoid that happening, Lola Picorni, owner of Lola's Louisiana Kitchen, says she'll be adjusting hours to focus on busier days. Curbside pickup will still be an option as well. The governor says reservations will also be required. No walk-ins. Many restaurants have already been implementing that system. Another change to restaurants and bars, no more than four people are allowed at the table. But these settings are proven to be high risk because they allow the opportunity for people to remove their face coverings in indoor settings around people outside of their households. Owner of Hugh Song's Cantina, Scott Frost, says it's not a matter of if, but when small businesses such as himself may have to throw in the towel. And we're already at 50%, so what you're saying now is on those days that you were making money, you're going to make half the money that you were already making, which was already half of what you were used to making. Lola and Scott both asking you to take this three week period seriously and to do your part to keep not just theirs, but other businesses open. And it's up to the public who loves us to return that love to us.